Hmm. Hey there. Hey there. Doing a little broadcasty broadcast. Hey everyone, it's Jenny. Come hang out with me in this field. Hey Misty, what's up? I'm in a field of wildflowers. Come and hang out. I'm actually at Kropalu. We're going to be talking about your why. Hey Natalie. Hey Alexis. What's up? I'm at my favorite place, Kropalu. Missy. Missy. Oh, the sun's in my eyes. I kind of want to just like lay down though. Can I lay down? I kind of feel like it. <laughs> We're going to be talking about your why. And we're in this field. Follow up ahead, I'll show you. There it is. Sometimes I just come and I hang out here in the car. And uh, I'm feeling really inspired. I just had a meeting. And then I brought a book. I'm reading, here's what I'm reading right now The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. I read his surrender experiment, it changed my life. And now I'm reading this one, which he wrote before the surrender experiment, but I found the surrender experiment first. And I love to read. It helps me so much to stay on my path and to be able to teach and guide and parent and love and lead and, and all of it. So today I want to talk to you about your why. I want to talk to you about your why. So if you're plugging in here, we're going to really be plugging in together. I want to hear from you. I want to know what you're passionate about, what your mission is. This is so, so important. If you don't know the answer to this question, you lack a compass, you lack a real like GPS system, and that can feel a bit terrifying when you're like, where the heck am I going? Have you ever felt like that? Have you ever felt uh, lost? Have you ever felt confused or overwhelmed or just like over it? Like this is too hard, it's not working, I don't know. I certainly have, you know, I've been there a lot in my life. And I've been thinking about it because I've been doing a bunch of media interviews recently. And yeah, Alexis, yeah, earlier this year, I mean, we have these moments throughout our life, even when you know what your calling is, even when you're like, yeah, I know my why. We still have those moments of confusion, of, we took a wrong turn, something's not going right, it's not on our timeline, and we get really frustrated, and we think like we're deluding ourselves. You know, it can be walking this path, this, this spiritual path, this one where we say, yes, I'm here for something great, and I'm, I'm going to do it no matter what. It, when we can say it like that, it makes perfect sense, but then there's times when it's just, it feels too much, it feels too big and, and like maybe they picked the wrong girl you know like really I don't know so I want to talk to you about the importance of your why I wrote a blog post about this uh, earlier this week if you haven't checked it out yet please do you can go to my website it's jennyfenig.com and the name of the blog is what's your why question mark I explore this in depth in chapter 3 of my book get gutsy if you haven't read my book yet go get it it's on Amazon you're going to love it okay and we really dive in in chapter 3 and I had the chance to actually just write a blog post about it this week because I'm in this business incubator it's the best way I can describe it and that was our assignment was to write about our why and we had to actually watch a video by this guy named Simon Sinek if you haven't heard of him yet check him out he has one of the most I have a buggy on my arm um, one of the most watched TED talks in like the history of TED talks and so I watched a talk from him about his golden circle and he wrote a book called start with why and it was all about how we you know, the concept, like the quote that I love from him is people don't buy what you do, they buy, they buy why you do it. People don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. And I mean, isn't that cool? It's like pretty, it's such a simple concept. I mean, anything in life like that I've found that has been like worth talking about <laughs> is simple. It's really, really simple. And we as humans tend to overcomplicate things. Why is that? Why do we overcomplicate it? So he really broke it down and was like, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. So those of you who are rocking it out on the business side of things, I want you to let that 
concept sink into your soul. People don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. So this idea that we must know our why, you must know it, why you do what you do, okay, in your work. Why? What is the driver? What is the driver? It is crucial because what are people buying? They're buying the why. They're buying the why. They're buying the mission. And you want to do business with people who believe what you believe. If you're in a business like mine, a very personality-driven business, you are a teacher of some sort, okay? Um, and that's such a broad term because we're all teachers. And when you've said yes to this, like, yes, I'm a teacher, maybe you're a web designer, but you're a teacher about the, the power of design, or the power of branding, the power of color, the power of everything syncing up and being beautiful, then you're a teacher, okay? If you are a consultant to companies about their HR practices, you're a teacher, you're a teacher on these concepts, okay? Teachers are amazing. Teachers are amazing. And you've got to really plug into your why. So if you know what your why is right now, I'd love for you to just share it. You know, share it, comment, chat with me, send some hearts over, tell me that you're feeling what we're talking about right now from this beautiful field. I'm in this field, this field of dreams. We're in the field of dreams. Oh my God, I just thought of that. <laughs> we're in the field of dreams. I'll give you a field of dreams. We're in a field of dreams. I'm in an open field right now, you guys. Okay, there's the field. There's the field. We're in this energetic field of dreams, field of greatness. All right. I like to be in nature. This is where I get my best ideas. So what's your why? What's your why? I want to hear from you. And I'm going to incentivize you because on that blog post that I shared with you called What's Your Why? It's on my website, jennyfennig.com. You can actually go there. I'm running a contest for the next week. And everyone who submits their why on that page, you know, just types it in in the comments, you're going to be entered to win a pretty rad prize pack from me, uh, which is really extraordinary. I'm just feeling very, very generous. I'm a generous person. I, I am. And uh, the prize pack is a ticket to my event, which is called Alchemy Live, which is happening in October here. Okay, you just, you're here in the beautiful Berkshires. Like, this is where we're going to be hanging out in October. So you're going to get a ticket to Alchemy Live, and you are going to get a ticket to my four-week digital course called Tribe Building Boot Camp, which kicks off later this month. It's, um, it's just an amazing deep dive into building your tribe because that's why you have your why. Your why has to connect into your tribe. Do you get it? Your why connects in to your tribe. Your why is solving the problem that your tribe has. You get it? They, your people are being kept up at night by some problem, some issue, some concern, some dark night of the soul. And your solution, your business, your offering helps take away that pain, solve that problem. Do you feel what I'm saying? Do you feel this? Do you feel this? Let me know. I want to hear from you. I want to, um, I want to see your comments. I want to see those hearts coming through. So I know, like, yeah, you know, if I was in a room with you, I could see your faces, and I could see you like nodding and being like, yeah, woohoo, taking notes. So let me know. Do you feel what I'm saying here? Your tribe buys your why. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for that. Your tribe buys the why, and you are, you're here to to help them. You're here to help them. All right. So if you haven't really thought about your why, this is your chance to do so. You can, again, go to my uh, website, jennyfennig.com, look for that post called What's Your Why? And I'm going to give you an assignment. Yeah, Missy, helping busy women stay stress-free by keeping their home clean and clutter-free. Love it. Love it, Missy. That's, that's so needed. And you can, it's right now too, there's like a huge focus on this, especially with Marie Kondo's book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. So if I were you, I would be, you know, hopping on that trend and, you know, even tying in some of those concepts and like pitching it to the media. I would be pitching your, I know you just recently launched, um, you left your full-time job. I'd be reaching out to media outlets and 
leveraging some of the the energy of that book and offering yourself up for interviews with those media outlets around clutter free living especially as we're moving into the fall yep you should missy yeah i'm not the only person who's telling you this good my background was in public relations and so i my job was to get media for my clients so um i'm wired that way but yeah i would definitely be hopping on that's going to be one of a great way for you to spread the word about your business all right so your assignment is to write your story this is how you really plug into the why because again people don't buy what you do they buy why you do it so missy people want to know why you're doing that they want to know why you're doing that not just what you're doing they're like, oh that's really cool but like why what led you to that did you grow up in a cluttered house and it, it was really hard for you or like what led you here what led you here and that's what Marie talks about in her book Marie Kondo is like she just she knew it since she was a little girl and, and so you hear these stories and you're just like oh my gosh this is so what she was put on this planet to do and that's why the book has been so successful her voice is very strong um, so what you want to do is there you go, Missy. I had that feeling. Your dad was a borderline hoarder. There you go. Boom. That's what I want to know. That's your why. That's your why. And then you're going to be able to connect with other people who had hoarders in their life. There you go. So write your story. Trace those pivot point moments. Okay. I, I give you like a full kind of breakdown in my book at Gutsy about this because this has been one of the, the kind of the, the tenets of my my growth and my success as a, as a businesswoman and as a as a leader is really getting clear on this and so you write your your story and you trace those pivot point moments and those moments become those like crucial elements those those hooks um, into your teaching into your system into your into your approach okay so that's the action for you I'm really excited for you to you know play with this again we're moving into this new cycle this new season and you've really got to to like own that why because you're gonna be talking about a lot like once you really start doing a bunch of media like I've been doing a lot of media for several years now it's just gonna get it's just gonna get bigger I know it I'm it's just happening like I get Literally, I get invited um, for a media interview pretty much every day, um, which is exciting, and I'm very, very grateful for it. And I've the reason why is because I'm I'm good at these interviews. Like I know how to tell my story. I know my why. My why drives me. I know how to tell the story. If you are not a good storyteller and you're not clear on your why, then you're not going to be very captivating to the media, and um, or to your people. And I want better for you, don't you? Yeah, I know you do. All right, so there's your assignment. If you have any questions, let me know. Now's your chance because I'm going to, yeah. Okay, Alexis, I'm going to hear it. Helping thought leaders heal shame to make a real difference in the world. Beautiful, beautiful. Alexis, how did you get there? Why would you get to your why? You know, share what you're comfortable sharing here now. Um, but I, that's what I'm curious about. You know, that next step is like, okay, what's your connection to shame? What's, what's that driver there? Because that's, that's, that's a real interesting piece for me. That's the vulnerability piece that we all really desire in the world. Um, heads up, we got some people coming. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Y'all having fun? It's beautiful back here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go back. Well, you could go down this road and then just go straight and you'll see it. Just keep walking that's straight. Trail Which one is totally. Um, either way, that way or on the road. Cool. All right. Go on the it's like a, a. It's a main road. Trail. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go there. This one. Have fun, girls. Go and take a right. Go to the road and take a right. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. All right. You know, sending some peeps on their way. I know my way around here. I know the pain of shame and depression, not feeling worth anything or worthy of taking up space. There you go. That's what I want to know, Alexis. You got to bring that into the mix. Bring that into the mix. Um. Okay, so check out that blog post. I want to see your entries there. You got to be in it to win it. I want to give some. I want to give away some prizes and some presents. So go do that. And then you, if you're not on my list yet, get on there. You'll get. Um, you can go to my website and get on there because I'm hosting a free training in one week on September 10th, and um, 
it's about getting known online because not only do you have to know your why, but you have to know how to get known so that people can hear about your why. So I'm hosting a free training next week. You can be on it. I will go into some details and some cool you're signed up. Yeah, I'll be telling you more about how to get known because there's some things you need to do and some systems you need to have set up. And you know, there's just so many things out there that like pull at your attention and you need to know what's worth your time and energy so that you can do what you're put on this planet to do, right? Otherwise, it gets like your soul starts getting hurt and you're like, it needs, it needs to be expressed. And I want to be able to help you with that. So join me next week. If you're into coaching and you want to be a coach and you want to train under me, um, I've got a bunch of trainings happening this month as well. So stay tuned for that. If you're on my list, you got a note about that. You can start signing up for those trainings. We are enrolling for my next class of students and Get Gutsy Coach Training School. It's my coach certification program. If you want to just find out about that right now, you can go to coachtrainingschool.com. Check it out. We start October 1st. It's going to be extraordinary. And I'm just so psyched to give you the tools and skills and help you do the inner work required to rock it as, um, as a spiritual teacher and as a coach to your people. Um, this inner work piece cannot be skipped. And this came to light yesterday. I was having a conversation, actually I was getting interviewed and it, it, we brought it up because there's so much emphasis now on the external and the flashy website and the pretty pictures and all that's cool. And it's, it is important, but nothing is more important than doing that inner work. So ensure that you're doing the inner work, ensure that you are in alignment and that you are living truthfully and honestly and you are being yourself. Okay, it takes a lot of courage to be yourself, doesn't it? But it is the way. It is the way to growth and magic and miracles. All right, so, so glad we could be here today. I'll give you a, here's our field of dreams. Okay, take a deep breath with me. <sighs> deep breath, deep breath. Oh my gosh, we are so in it. We are so in the miraculous zone of it all. Field of dreams. Just feel the expansion. abilities that are yours for the taking, for the making, for the creating. It is up to you and to you and to you to to do it and you are gonna have to walk through some fear you are gonna need to make investments of time and money you just will um, don't think that you get the free pass on that I mean you just you're going to you're gonna need to work you're going to need to believe in yourself big time and trust that it's all it's all happening it's all happening good things are coming and the universe has your back. So go out there, get gutsy, stay in touch with me, um, hook up with me on Facebook, Instagram, I'm there, and keep coming back for my periscopes, okay? Mwah. Much love to you, thanks for being here, bye.